Hello and welcome to episode 31 of my Force of Nature tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on fighting a new kind of beast I have encountered. I was going to head back to my camp and drop stuff off but on my return I found a new kind of beast blocking my way so I'm going to have to fight it. So I thought let's show you uh, this new creature and what to expect when fighting it. Also I, I have noticed while in this hot biome my stamina my stamina is uh, continually going down even if I am not doing anything chopping trees or anything the stamina you will notice keeps falling so make sure you bring plenty of coffee to spare and try not to wear any fur armor although I am keeping my fur hat on for this fight so let's do it if I click continue see my stamina I'm gonna need to whack that up and then deal with this creature okay right that hopefully is enough let's get the boulders and here it is now I presume it can't get through the gap looks like a gorilla the fox can get through the gap but the gorilla can't and that fox went the right way hopefully hopefully it's going to be trapped Oh yeah, it's trapped. Goodbye, box. Right, that's one less critter to worry about. Now, with the gorilla, that's kind of cool. Because I left a narrow gap, it doesn't look like it's able to fit through it, so I can attack it from range. Like so. How cool is that? You need all the help you can get, trust me. see these rocks they will save your life especially when you get to here there you go there's one down cool let's all grab that let's eat some strawberry trifle no I said strawberry trifle not an axe don't think you can eat an axe and let's drink lots of coffee <clears throat> Yeah, it is a nuisance in this biome with my thingy going down. What I'm going to do, in fact, let's take the hat off, see if it makes any difference. Uh, anything else giving me heat? See if I can drop that temperature. Let's bring the characteristics up. Uh, comfortable temperature, so between that and it's over, it's 32, so that's draining my stamina. Um, and it doesn't look like it has any effect on the temperature, me wearing this. It's only the fur stuff which gives more heat, so I won't wear that. Um, I'm going to need to drink lots of coffees though, in order to take out that other gorilla. And what I want to do is build another teleport as soon as I can. Thereby I won't have to waste as much coffee. Because you can see I'm gulping it down. I'll be so hyperactive after all this coffee. Alright, let's switch back to my rocks. And see if I can get this gorilla. And there we go. What do we get from the gorilla? Just looks like a pelt. I think occasionally some fangs. So that's why you want to keep narrow gaps. If you may have noticed, I've been trying to do that. If you do that and encounter gorillas, you should be okay. Okay, let's now head back. Oh no, I've got this to fight first. Or these to fight first. At least I'm out that hot zone now, so I'm not sapping up my stamina. Okay, so I wanted to show you how to make a herbal tea, because you're going to encounter scorpions. Oh, I should have got this sheep actually. Let's see if I no, because I'll have to walk all the way back if I get the sheep. Uh. 
Now what I'm going to do when I come back is I'm going to bring the components to make another teleport because hopefully I will get far enough in order to do that. So let's go back to the base, show you how to make a herb of tea and grab what I need to make another port portal. Okay, so to make the herbal tea, you go to the cooking table. Oh yeah, loads of butter, cool. And where is it? Here it is. For this, you're gonna need water, one water, one violet, one rosemary, one salvia. And that's all them herbs we've been seeing on the ground. You'll also need a mortar, or a metal mortar. And that's how you get these, um, which you've seen are very necessary. Okay, so what I want to do is drop some stuff off in the chest, like so, and let's drop these bananas, because I am expecting to die. I think I've been lucky so far. Um, let's definitely drop the butter off. I definitely don't want to waste that. Butter is used for so many things, not only your lamps, but also different foods the good foods as well. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's an emerald chip. Let's see if the emerald chips stack. Yeah, they do. Cool. Right, okay. Let's drop some logs off. As you can see, I'm getting so many logs. But that would be good for building. Uh, drop some palm fronds off. Okay, you've got to say to yourself, what do you mind losing? If you die, do you mind losing any of this? And if the answer to any of it is, I do care about losing my fur hat, you'll leave it behind. Um, I'm going to take it with me, but in my pocket. So, I've got coffee. I just need to now bring up the build menu and look what we need for the teleport. So, to make the portal, 10 stone, 5 ash, 10 clay, 10 sand. So, got the clay, I need to go dig one sand, so put that back, actually I can keep that there for now, so let's dig some sand, only need one. Um, so I also need five ash, which is your fangs and claws will help you with your ash. Fortunately, I've got 21 made. Hmm, I'm looking at how I can split them. It looks like we can only do one at a time, so I'm not going to risk. Ash is precious. I'm not risking taking more than what I need, so I will take five. If you right click, you pick up one at a time. Okay, if we go back to the build menu, let's see if I have what I need. So, just stone. Well, fortunately, I've got a ton of it. There we go. Right, that's all that I need to make a portal. Let's see if I can advance my progress with another portal. Don't know what I'm going to call this one. Hopefully something that makes sense. I don't, although don't rely on that, as you should appreciate by now. Okay, so we want to go this way. Yeah, you can laugh, Mr. Sheep. I'll come back and get you at some point. Don't you worry about that. Okay, so I went up this way. Yeah, them gorillas don't look like they're nice to fight, that's for sure. Sure glad I could cower. Am I going the right way? Yeah, I am. But I think it's through this way, is it? Is this as far as I got? I'm sure I got further than this. Maybe I didn't mark it. Check the map. 
I've got a little disorientated. Oh yeah, here's my logs. So I did, must have cut across that way somehow. Oh, and there's the laughing sheep. Oh, am I still going the right way? No, I'm going in the opposite direction. But it's this way where I was progressing. Oh, there's that boar that's stuck in there. And there's my logs, right, I'm back on track. Oh, here we go, stamina now time. You just watch it all drain down. So you really want to get through this area as quick as you can, and you want to make sure you're going in the right direction. Okay, I'm just going to chop as quick as I can through this. Of course, because you won't be able to chop when your stamina runs out. So I'm just going to have to keep drinking coffees. And lots of them. Actually, if I can get away with just doing one, if I can keep it a narrow gap. There's a scorpion, but am I worried? No. I've got Herbal teas. Lot to be said for the herbal tea. Now it will be nice if I can do a small enough gap that I can chuck rocks at it, but I doubt it very much because it's a very small critter. And so I've got a feeling it will be able to fit through the tiny gap. Now, if I can get rid of these trees, in fact, then I can see what I'm actually doing, and that will help tremendously. Oh, out of stamina. I'm lucky he's not attacking me now. tree down. I can't see what I'm doing. I doubt it'll make much difference but right can you get through there? Oh you don't need to you just spit that yucky green stuff at me and poison me. Okay so I've got a stinger, palm leaves and bananas. Oh here we go flamethrower. Got a, I feel a strawberry trifle coming on. Where'd I put it? Number seven. Okay, so I'm poisoned. I'm. Let's drink herbal tea. That gets rid of that. Let's eat another strawberry trifle because they are yummy. Let's now go grab what's been dropped, gold coins, copper coins and a banana, can't say fairer than that. Right, let's check the map, how are we doing? Ah, I can do a portal, just a little bit further. Do I go through the reeds or go this way? My stamina is draining constantly, so let's drink some more. Can I do a portal just ahead? So that way. I'm going to need to chop a few of these out of the way. Drink, keep drinking lots of coffee. Keep the gaps as thin as you can. If you can, just chop one wide with the reeds. That way, if there's any big critters that come along, you'll be safe. And you can chuck rocks at them. Okay. Oh, I think I can do a teleport here. So what I'm going to do is clear a bit of ground. There's the timer. 
but I am going to do this teleport. So you can see I'm getting bamboo now, and bamboo is needed, so I recommend you pick it up. All I'm going to do is chop a big circle here. In fact, the time is going to go too long and it will upset some people, so I'll end the episode here. And what I will do is continue on in the next episode. And the benefit is we'll have light on the subject. So I've got to get busy chopping. I'm going to clear a big enough circle and then bring you all back. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.